What's up YouTube? Uh, today I want to show you guys how to repair your disk permissions on El Capitan. So we're all aware that Apple made some big changes in the disk utility for the release of El Capitan come this fall. And one of the, the features that kind of disappeared with it was the ability to repair the disk permissions uh, for CAX files, for system files, uh, at whenever you choose. So now it is actually done during system updates. So if anybody's kind of wondering where, where it went, it's actually done automatically for you during each um, version update that you do. But if you feel that it needs to be done manually, or if you've been modifying system files and you need to make sure all of the um, permissions are correct, I can show you guys how to do this using a free tool, which is really cool, so this won't cost you any money. Um, Onyx has been around for a long time, so the program I'm talking about is Onyx. Uh, they've branched off and done maintenance and deeper, but Onyx is the main tool that you'll want to use that everybody should use. Uh, and it's a great addition to OS X. I won't get into all the functionalities of it. Simply go to the website below in the comments. There should be a link below. And then head to, as you're on this page here, go to the Downloads tab right here and then choose your version of OS X. So there's a lot of different versions. The one we're specifically talking about today is the Al Capitan. And like I said, these guys have been building Onyx since Jaguar, which is, they've been around for quite a long time. Download this, save it into your downloads folder. When you get it, copy it over. If you guys don't know how to do that here, so you just simply download it. It'll download, give it a minute. Once you've downloaded it, open the DMG that you get. Just skip all this. Copy it over. Yeah, you'll see it in your applications. When you go to launch the app, which is right here, you may be prompted if you haven't changed your system settings in here in security. If you go to general and if you are on identified developers, you may have to choose anywhere, so make sure you uncheck this, change these settings. After that, you'll want to open up your newly installed app. So Onyx can normally take a few minutes to boot up. I am going to skip the verification, the disk verification, just for this video, but uh, you will need to enter in your username and password for your uh, MacBook. And then you will want to continue here. Where I'm going to actually hit cancel. So once you verified the disk, this can uh, your computer can appear to freeze up a little bit. It'll take about a minute or so, but once that's complete and you've gotten the OK to go into the Onyx tool, what you want to do is you want to go into this maintenance tab here, and now the application is going to drop down. Now you can see structure of disk, permissions. This is where we are going to rebuild our permissions. And then there are a few other options, but again, I will have a video tutorial on Onyx completely. Uh, we're just focusing on the disk permissions here. This option is what was removed from Disk Utility. So if we actually open up Disk Utility here, we can see that the option is... Well, where did it go? Sorry, different computer. Uh, so here it is, and you can see there is no option. You know, first aid, you can run first aid. How useful is that, Apple? Um, so, yeah, this here will do a full disk permission, which you can run a repair here. I have a solid state drive in this, so it shouldn't take too long. I guess while we're recording a video, it's going to take a little longer. but uh, And then you will get a full printout report just like you would in the old disk utility. So you can see which permissions were repaired if you changed your host file, if you were modifying CAX files, uh, anything like that. This will repair the permissions. So this will take some time. Make sure you have some patience. As you can see, my MacBook appears to be beach balling, but we're still here. We're still talking. So it just... Be patient, it can take a minute to two minutes. If you have um, a regular spinning hard drive, so not solid state drive, this process can take five to ten minutes. So don't panic if it appears to freeze, just allow it to do its thing. And then um, just right at the end of this video here, I'll allow you it to print out and we can show you guys. So that's how you can um, repair your disk permissions in Al Capitan using a program, a free app uh, that everybody should have anyways because it's a great app. I understand too there's a way to do this with Terminal. For you uh, users who like Terminal, I will do a video on how to do that if you're unsure on how to. 
This is just simpler for users, and this is the method I would recommend to everybody, as Terminal can get a little up and down with that. So this is what I would suggest doing. So as you can see, once the maintenance is complete, you'll even get a notification. You also get a pop-up window. Make sure you click OK. And you can see these are the files that were analyzed, and these are the files that were repaired. So my host file was repaired. Looks like there was some <laughs> the standard of what we would normally see. Actually, I'm quite surprised to see this for the developer beta build. So maybe it was good I ran that. Anyways, guys, there you go. Uh, a feature that Apple removed for no reason is now back freely. You can use it at any time. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Comment below if there's anything on El Capitan that you'd like me to show you. And I'll see you again next time. Cheers.